Hello YouTubers, and today I'll be showing you some nymphs and how to use them. This is the Copper John. It is a good nymph for brown trout. I like it best with uh, just regular copper colored wire. Uh, good to use fast and slow moving water. Not deeper bodies of water, but you know, you can try whatever. Next, I have the Montana Nymph. It works very well for trout that are kind of picky, but not too picky. Like, if they're not biting most attractors, they usually might bite this. Looks more natural. I like it. It worked for me some at the Montauk, Missouri State Park. If you ever go there, this is a good fly to use in green. Then we have the pheasant tail. This uh, beadhead American pheasant tail is tried and true. It's used everywhere. It's good everywhere. It's really good for prospecting trout and um, works for fast, fast moving water. Just most of these are for streams. This is a zebra midge, great for winter, um, really good to use in faster, faster, shallow currents of water. Rainbow trout seem to love it a lot. Um, you know, you can get this in olive too, that's what works really good. This is a woven scud. It is, um... Good for fast moving water, slow moving water, just anything. I like gray and olive, two best colors to use with this fly. Um, you want to get the sizes smaller, that really helps a lot. Um, uh, it's really good for rainbow and brown both. And then I have a Jesse's black stone fly. This is good for fast, fast moving water, and it's good for darker days. And it imitates stone flies. So if you ever see any on bottoms of rocks, this is really good to use in fast moving currents or slow moving currents, but most shallow water. And now we have the beadhead prince nymph, and it works really good on. Um, just about most trout and um, that's it I will have other videos of some other flies such as streamers and hoppers and uh, bass flies and other things so alright tight lines